So this is my second time filming with this camera and I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm not very good at technology, but I'm trying to uh, learn how to use it in the best possible way. Um, since the lighting was horrible in my last video, I tried to catch the daylight today, but it's all cloudy outside, so I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, I'm hoping so anyway. So this is basically going to be a first impressions video about a brand that I recently discovered. And uh, I have not heard a lot of people talk about this brand at all, so I don't know if they're actually new or if they're just new to me. Um, but since there aren't a whole lot of um, reviews on them here on YouTube, I thought I would try them out. So I got three of their eye products and I haven't used them a whole lot yet, but I have tried them. And so far I'm really impressed. So the brand I'm talking about is called Beauty UK Cosmetics and I have no idea if you can buy them in stores anywhere. Uh, you certainly can't in Sweden, so I got them online. Um, I'm gonna put the link to their web shop below so you can check it out if you want to. And okay, I got three eye products from them. Uh, the first thing I got is their metallic eye quad in number five, pinks. And that one looks like this. Okay, I'm not sure if the camera will show its true colors. It looks kind of good up when I hold it over here. Let's see if it'll still look good when I hold it closer to the camera. This is like such an experiment working with this camera. Um, okay, so that's basically what they look like. Uh, I'm gonna show you swatches in a minute, uh, but I'm just gonna show you the second product first because I've swatched them next to each other. Um, the next thing I got is their baked eyeshadow in uh, the color 4, beach. And this, I mean this is massive. This is pretty much the same size as a MAC blush. And I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I thought it was, you know, like a regular eyeshadow size. Um, but it really is massive. And there's a tiny little brush on the back of it. Like you can... Oop. Loosen it like this, and then you get a brush like this. Um, but I'm not going to use this brush because I don't think it's very good quality, and I certainly didn't get it because of the brush, because I didn't know they included a brush. Um, but the eyeshadows, on the other hand, are very good quality, and I mean, they look like this. They are so pretty, and these colors go so well together. Um, and I've swatched these as well on my arm, so I'm going to show you all the swatches now. Let's see if I can manage to do that. Okay, so those are these swatches. That's what the eyeshadows look like. And I've only swatched them on my skin. I didn't use a primer under them. So the pigmentation is really good. Like you only have to touch them basically to get a whole lot of color. Well, color payoff. So the last thing I got from Beauty UK is their pearl eyeliner and this is in the color deep no rich mahogany and that one looks like this and this is the most gorgeous liquid liner i own for sure i swatched it on my hand and i'm hoping that you'll be able to see how metallic it looks um let's see yeah i think you will be able to see that actually it is such a pretty color it's a really warm dark brown and I think that this eyeliner is going to go so well with these eyeshadows. I haven't tried them together though. Yet, but I'm going to. I just have so many eyeshadows to try out right now. Um, but this, I, I've swatched it on my hand before. And it is so difficult to get off. Like, obviously you can get it off with a like waterproof makeup remover. Or with, I'm guessing, a regular makeup remover. But you really have to rub it to get it off. So I'm guessing the staying power when it's actually on your eye is going to be great. Okay, so one thing I love about these products is that they are so cheap. Um, I believe that they were approximately £3 each and that is very cheap as it is. Uh, and that price included value-added tax and I don't think I had to pay that because I don't live in the UK. Um, because when I actually saw my, like, my receipt, I didn't have to pay the full price that they said it on the website um, so there must be some something going on uh, I'm guessing that I didn't have to pay the value added tax because I'm living in Sweden and not in England where they are based um, but I'm not sure 
So these were very cheap and the pigmentation is great and as I said I'm going to put the link to their web shop below so you can check them out if you want to. And I'll be back with reviews of these products once I've worn them. Um, I'm going to post some pictures of them on my blog so check that out, it'll also be linked in the description bar below. So that's everything I had to say today, um, I'll talk to you guys very soon, bye!